So insects are um, really, really favored because they are nature's waste manager, essentially. They take rotting, decaying, or uh, wasted organic matter, and they can convert that into fertilizer, which is essentially their droppings when they're finished doing that. And they are also full of fat and protein in the insects themselves. And so that can be fed readily to a number of animals like pigs and chickens. So that's why people started getting very interesting, interested in looking at insects as a potential technology for managing large parts of waste in a profitable or economic way. Um, why the black soldier fly itself is favored ab above other insects like crickets and mealworm is it has a very high feed conversion ratio. And that's like a fancy way of saying that it is um, able to go through that waste very, very quickly and turn it into the products that I mentioned really quickly as well. So most farms, and when I say most, I don't just mean in Kenya, I mean across the whole um, world, will look at insect farming from a centralized perspective. And what that means is that they do everything under one roof. They do their breeding, their nursery, their waste management, their post-processing. All of that is done under one centralized location. And so what happens there is you, they partner with waste providers who bring the waste to them. We thought that the best way, and we are one of maybe a few companies in the world trialing this approach currently right now, is doing a decentralized model. That means that we do keep a central hub that does the complicated parts like the breeding and the egg production and also the post-processing. But the bulk of the mass, the bulk of the waste, all of the waste is kept on our client sites. So we partner with farms and we actually go to the farms and we bring the insects to the farms. The insect does the bioconversion on site and then we take the insects back to our factory. This eliminates a ton of CO2 and transport costs. And the way we're able to do this is by using um, converted shipping containers. These shipping containers are fully climate controlled. They control humidity, they control temperature, they control CO2. And so therefore you have a really good process and a really good product that can go sit on someone's land and manage their waste reliably over time. It's been amazing so far. And the, the obviously, if you're knocking on people's door, the way our model works is it's actually free to the farmer. So in the beginning, we're able to manage their waste for free and we're able to, um, then we, we take the products. So we're already eliminating them a waste transport cost that they currently have. Um, and we're also able, because of this, to give more financial benefit to farmers than they can get from anywhere else. When, when, I, when I think when I look forward, I think that in 10 years time, we will have a number of partner waste users are using our solutions and our model to generate much more income out of their waste than they already do.